dying to do a uh, trail race and I'm finally probably getting my option to. the way it is i'm right now making some coffee and doing paper mache this right here is supposed to be a shoe the hook i'm up for i think it will become that but right now it just looks like a block of just like a square a rectangle we'll see how it works Oh, you know. Yeah. 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 I can look at it and just tell. But it, and it tastes I mean, so good. It's like it's really good. I can taste the spices in it for sure. But is it my favorite? Yes. No. Is it, is, it, is it good? Yes. Does it mimic the flavor profile? It says yes. Yes, I will say because it says spiced pumpkin pie, not pumpkin pie. It says spice. And you can taste the, the cinnamon and nutmeg in it. There's al almonds in here. Dried apples. Raisins. So, everyone, I'm going to go get a run in. It's 11.20 right now uh, because I'm on a lunch break. So, why not go take advantage of it and get a short, easy effort run in? So, let's go do that. <laughs> today's run what an amazing run very fun very enjoyable and yeah got it done in school which is awesome 
I had no pain. So therefore, we're getting back up there, everyone. As you can see, 4.38 miles, 920 pace. That's solid wrap. Beautiful weather rolling, getting the benefits in some sunlight and vitamin D, and also relieving some lactic acid in my muscles and allowing blood to flow in my muscles. Foam rolling, so I'm getting a two in one. Great vitamins and nutrients, with also getting some blood flow in my legs. Finished up a 15 20 minute relaxing in the sun, foam rolling, and now it's time to head to work. All right, YouTube family, it is time for dinner. And make sure, if you're not part of the family, make sure you hit subscribe. But my dinner is always full of veggies and micronutrient-rich food. So let's get that cooking. All right, everyone. So I have a few questions for y'all. So I've been doing, I've been looking at uh, hydration backpacks and uh, trail running shoes because I'm trying. Signing up for an ultra trail race or a marathon race. I'm thinking about South Park in Colorado. Um, pretty much a beginner one, but it's high altitude coming from Louisiana where zero to all the way to 10,000 is a big jump. But I've been looking at the Advanced Skin 12 by Solomon and the Advanced Skin 8 by Solomon, their hydration vest. And I have a small chest. I have a 28 inch chest and a 40 inch back. And I don't want the uh, the vest to be too long, and I want it just to be, and, and I want it to be very snug. And it looks like that's a little too big. Tell me any options out there that's a very good uh, hydration vest, and also a good trail running shoe. I've been looking at the um, Hoka EVO Speed and the Hoka Speed Goats uh, for my trail shoes. Uh, for the race, um, let me know if there are good options or if there's any other good options out there. I know Solomon has some good shoes and uh, Ultra has also some good shoes, but I really like Hoka. So if you have any Hoka options, let me know. I've been dying to do a uh, trail race and I'm finally probably getting my option too. So just leave in the comments down below any suggestions for a hydration vest and um, uh, trail running shoes, also any trail races uh, in Colorado or anywhere, uh, let me leave them down in the comments down below and let me know about them because I'm looking forward to them. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Make sure to seek happiness, achieve goals, and find glory. See you tomorrow. Review for the Hoka or Recovery Slides coming soon. Peace.